Senator Josh Hawley, Republican of Missouri, on Wednesday called for Biden administration officials to resign over the bungled U.S. withdrawal in Afghanistan marked by the Taliban's quick return to power. Hawley, a potential 2024 White House contender who initially voiced support in April for Biden's decision to withdraw troops, said there should be a full congressional inquiry into how the administration appeared to both overestimate the Afghan government's capability and underestimate the Taliban. This is the worst foreign policy debacle since Vietnam due to Joe Biden. He has lost the confidence of the American people and the ability to lead. Biden's entire defense and foreign policy team must resign, Hawley tweeted. Hawley appears to be one of the first Republican senators to specifically call for resignations of Biden administration officials over the U.S. withdrawal, which sparked chaotic scenes as thousands of Afghans and Americans rushed to evacuate as the Taliban captured Kabul. Asked which specific officials Hawley was calling on to resign, Hawley spokesman reiterated that it was Biden's entire defense and foreign policy team. And then they bring up... Uh, McConnell making a comment, but you know, whatever, who cares? Uh, wow, this article has multiple other people talking. It's just, so I, I love it when they make these lazy articles where somebody puts up a tweet. <laughs> like, let's make a whole article about it. Um, the worst foreign policy debacle since Vietnam. I think getting into the longest war in U.S. history would be the worst foreign policy debacle since Vietnam, and you would trace that to Bush. Um, and let's not forget the Iraq War, where literally hundreds of thousands of people died in that. You know, just between Iraq, like that war itself, and then getting into Afghanistan and staying there, you know, year after year, president after president, I think those are much worse than the debacle of saying, hey, we're leaving, and then, you know, cabal gets taken over and some people evacuate. I, I feel like there are many stronger contenders for worse pol foreign policy debacle since Vietnam outside of the decision to withdraw from the longest war in American history. He has lost the confidence of the American people and the ability to lead. Well, is there a poll that shows that people support staying over there? and that they don't believe Biden is doing a decent job. If so, I'd love for Hawley to link me to it. Because I haven't seen, you know, the we don't really poll people that much on their positions on wars and uh, foreign policy because we know that most Americans really don't seem to care about it. But I'd love for some proof of that, of, you know, people having lost confidence in um, Biden thanks to his decision to withdraw from, you know, one of the seven wars that we're currently in. Um, Biden's entire defense and foreign policy team must resign. See, that's just him grandstanding because most of the time when someone doesn't like a decision that a person makes, they call for them to resign. So for example, uh, AOC called for Cruz to resign. Cruz called for, it was, it was Obama's health secretary, Kathleen Sabilis to resign. Um, just, you get the idea that this is something that we do when we get upset and hell, there were people who were calling for Trump to resign his entire tenure. So it's, you know, it's not really anything that's based around, you know, someone doing it. Basically, because people keep saying someone should resign, it, it starts to make everything kind of blend together as far as, is this truly an offense that is so great that we need to get this person out of this office, forget having an election, you need to get out right now. But yeah, I do like the, the article for pointing out, and it's not that well written in my opinion because it has all this other information for people that are Hawley. But I like that it points out that Hawley originally supported Biden's decision to withdraw troops because that's part of the foreign policy populism that these people like to uh, fabricate. So for example, when Trump ran for president, he talked about uh, wanting to withdraw and then bombing a different country, you know, like aggressive and dove type positions right at the same time holly knows that as a person who wants to run for president in the next election cycle uh, 2024 he can't come off as being someone who is overtly friendly to biden's positions because when you when you run a, the way current politics is now 
is that you can almost never credit or give any kind of liking to the policies of the incumbent president if you're from the opposing party. Um, that's why you had some Democrats who were insane enough to get mad at Trump for meeting with Kim Jong-un, you know, even though that was a completely peaceful resolution to months and months of, you know, conflict verbally between the pair, because they have to take the position that's always antagonistic to whoever's in office. So Hawley might say well, during, while he's running, oh, I support getting out of Afghanistan, but if that position is done by Biden, he has to make sure he carves out a specific way to have a problem with him getting out, because it's more so about appearing right like you're you're the opposite the antithesis of this person than actually having some strong belief that yes we need to get out of this war that's been going on for two decades now so you know this is more just him attempting to make himself look good among that presumably crowded field of people that's going to run in three years